Hi everybody, um, in this video we are going to look at how to import multiple Excel sheets into R. It is one problem I had while I was beginning to learn R and I feel um, so many people have been asking me questions about it and I feel it is time for me to actually create a video on that topic. So I have a data set here that has three sheets and it is a population data and it contains three sheets in an Excel format. And I the data is named urbanpop.excel sheet. I save it in an Excel format and not a normal CSV. So I'm going to teach you how to import this data into R in two ways. Um, so follow me, let's begin. I have already created my directory and which I believe you already know how to create your directory. So the first thing I you do after creating your directory is to, if you don't already have your this package, the read Excel package, I would advise that you you install it directly. Like we all know how to install it with R. So you install it. After you install it, you load it, and once you load it. This is what it's going to show automatically. So I am going to load this data set in the first way. The first of loading this data set is loading the sheet one by one. So I would call the first sheet population one. And um, I will, you know, just like you read, just like you read a CSV file. This is an Excel file and it saves as Excel sx you know usual excel so that's why we are using the read excel to actually load it so we load it urban pop dot excel format and we indicate which of the sheets we want now this means that we want the first sheet if you actually if your data is so plenty and you don't want to load all of them at the same time this is a great way to load your data. So you choose the sheets that you want to work with. You load them automatically and they would load. Now we have loaded the three sheets, one, two, and three, and they are loaded. If you want to see if they're actually loaded, you can just um, see them, population one, and it's loaded. This is the data set for the, sheet, the first sheet, population one. It's always advisable if you are loading multiple sheets like this, you put them inside a list. So I will create a list called population list and put all of them inside it. That way, if you put it inside a list, if you want to work with just one, if you want to work with just one sheet, it will not be a problem. You will not have to stress if you want to work with just one you won't have to stress i will show you in a minute what i'm talking about right so once you finish loading in a sheet and that load if you want just read one two three it will load automatically for you so this is one way of actually how to load your data set the second way to load your multiple sheet is to use the function apply. So I would use um, um, population sheet because there are three. That's what I choose to call it. So I choose to call it. Then you load it using the apply function. Apply. Now, now we are loading the entire Excel sheet. So you will have to load this Excel sheet and load the data. The name of our data is urban pop.excel there and um, you can continue it in one line but i don't like continuing my date um i like i like um ensuring that my data is properly loaded and uh, so i like doing it this way putting it in another line the read excel is to ensure that we tell it where to start reading from no, it's an Excel file. So yes, so the path here is urban. This is how the syntax is being written. If you are, if you are loading, 
if you're using the apply function. Oh, I think I spelled something wrong here. Yeah, yeah, sorry about that. Oh my god, pop sheets apply. Um, Excel sheet urban pop dot excel. Yes, read Excel, and the path is urban pop. It's supposed to work. What is the problem? Urban pop. Uh, I'm not sure what is the problem, but let's do this again. Okay. Urban pop. Um apply excel sheets that's correct or one pop that's correct then we read read excel and identify the path and the path here is urban pop dot Okay. Yep. And that loads it. Yeah. So if you load your sheets, pop sheets now, and you run it, it runs the three, runs the three sheets for you. This is the first sheet. This is the second sheet. And this is the third sheet. So this is exactly how to load multiple sheets using R. If you find value in this video, like, comment, share, subscribe. And ensure you click the notification button so that when I post the next video on the R series and other series, if you are looking forward to learn data analysis and data science, this is the best channel for you. Until I see you next time, stay blessed and have a truly good life.